US lithium demand is said to skyrocket by a staggering 500% by 2030. Now, this is coming from fast markets who provide analysis of what's going on. And really, this gives you an idea of some of the places that possibly you could invest in, but also of the expected demand for electric cars over the next six years. Now, although the media is saying all this stuff, analysts, and I'm talking about now, analysts who have real no connection to EVs or to wanting to deploy them, they're saying, well, it's coming and there's no avoiding it. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to see you. Fast Markets, an industry-leading cross-commodity price reporting agency, launched a region-specific lithium price assessment for Western markets to increase price transparency. Fast markets forecast a massive growth in demand for lithium in the United States of exactly 487% to 412,000 tons of lithium carbonate equivalent by 2030. Now, keep in mind, this demand is expected to be mostly met, this increase, by some incredible new discoveries in the United States. Now, one of those is literally a lithium gold mine. I'll put a link in the description below to my video on that. Guys, if you're not subscribed, probably good good opportunity to do so if you wanna know about more things like this that I report on in terms of these incredible lithium discoveries that have been found in the United States recently. Fast Markets was the first price reporting agency to launch spot battery grade and technical grade lithium hydroxide and carbonate price assessments for the US and Europe. Pricing histories for these markets is available back to 2017. Now, obviously, fast markets, um, they've been pricing markets for over 60 years. And as you would know, lithium prices have hit massive lows, not historical lows, but I mean, lithium prices have dropped through the floor over the past 12 months. And that has meant that the cost of lithium batteries has come down by nearly 50% over the last 12 months. Making EVs, the, the ability to produce EVs, many analysts are saying it's already um, a similar cost to produce an electric car as it is to produce an internal combustion engine car. Then we've got people like Tony Sieber saying, you know what, it's going to be cheaper by 2026 to make an EV than a gasoline powered car. And other analysts are confirming that this is actually true. The battery raw materials market has changed significantly since 2017 with supply and demand factors playing out very differently in North America, Europe, and Asia. Previously, fast markets provided price assessments for the US and Europe, and these price assessments are changing because the market has changed so much. And part of that is because of the, well, demand for EVs, but also the US Inflation Reduction Act. Now, if you're wondering what will lithium demand be like even further into the future, say 2050? Well, the IEA, the UN Trade and Development or UNCTAD, together they project that lithium demand will rise by more than 1,500% between now and 2050. That's a pretty big increase. What this means is that for basically the world to hit its 2030 emissions targets, the mining industry will, will need a, an additional 70 new mines. Now, Statista is forecasting the global demand for lithium worldwide in 2030 will surpass 2.4 million metric tons of lithium carbonate, doubling the demand forecast for 2025. Leading this surge, of course, will be increases in battery EVs and also energy storage. Now, other experts are also extremely bullish. Shanghai Metals Markets, they say, Key trends in lithium prices, a comprehensive analysis that reported that the metal is expected to see a huge surge in demand projecting more than 2.4 million tons of lithium carbonate needed by 2030. But they say that between 2030 and 2035, things are really gonna blow up. The prediction is to go from 2.4 million tons in 2030 and then 3.8 million tons in 2035. So what does that mean? Well, the investment opportunities in lithium stocks, particularly um, potentially even Australian mining lithium stocks are very promising. Experts predict a lithium price recovery averaging around 45,000 US dollars per metric ton, aligning with the expected demand surge. So could this happen? Could this change? 
Well, could we see this record numbers for lithium demand in the United States? Will it really increase by uh, what these experts are saying, which is 500% by 2030? Well, keep in mind, guys, uh, only 8% of all cars currently sold in the United States are fully electric. But battery technology has come a mile. A lot of the batteries being used in these EVs you guys are buying in the United States, they're old technology. It's good, but it's a generation old. With these newer generations of batteries, which are gonna be cheaper and have higher energy density, you're gonna see EV prices come down more, more adopt, this will lead to more adoption. More and more adoption, more and more, more and more fast charges being deployed, more and more people are gonna buy EVs. And we're gonna hit that point where EVs will become the mainstream. A lot of experts say that by 2030, more than 50% of all cars sold in the United States will be electric. But I think it'll be more like 65 to 75%. If that does happen, then these figures of 500% could be an understatement. We could be looking at numbers that are more like 600 to 800%. But what does this mean though for EV prices? Well, EV prices are basically likely to come down by around 30 to 40 percent from many expert analysts over the next five years making them cheaper than internal combustion what do you let what do you guys think about all this let me know in the comments thank you for watching